This week could be a game changer for the movie business. If Crazy Rich Asians does well in theaters, expect film companies to be more receptive about stories about minorities. It's just that simple. People aren't just rich, they're crazy rich. Now you really should have told me that you're like the Prince William of Asia. That's ridiculous. Much more of a Harry. <laughs> From all reports, the film is a real charmer, based on a bestseller that looks at a blossoming romance between a New Yorker, her boyfriend, and her boyfriend's family. Starring Constance Wu, the mom on TV's Fresh Off the Boat, the movie introduces us to a world few know. These aren't just rich people, they're stinking rich people who think nothing of spending $40 million on a wedding. Mom, this is Rachel Chu. Wu, who plays an economics professor, has a hard time navigating the world. She goes with her boyfriend, played by Henry Golding, to his best friend's wedding. There, she meets a cavalcade of people who expand her horizons. Directed by John Chu, Crazy Rich Asians has a lush look, a fun story, and a lot that audiences can relate to. It might not win this year's most popular film Oscar, but it certainly can put smiles on the faces of everyone who isn't a crazy rich Asian. We're unpredictable, highly trained, and we save millions of lives. If we fail, there is no backup plan. Also this week, Peter Berg directs Mark Wahlberg in Mile 22, the story of an American intelligence officer who tries to smuggle a police officer out of the country. Wahlberg's team is part of the CIA's least understood unit, which adds to the drama and suggests there's more to the mission than meets the eye. Berg, who directed the film version of Friday Night Lights, has a visceral eye and a good hand on action. He has Ronda Rousey in tow and John Malkovich for awards cred. Naturally, Wahlberg doesn't let his action strengths go to waste. He runs and shoots with the best of them, making Mile 22 a marker for action. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.